nothing like relaxing in the evening with a nice glass of wine. There may be more of it to go around. That's according to the latest crop report. Napa Valley produced more than $1 billion worth of wine grapes last year. That's a 35% increase from the year before. But it's not only about supply, it is also about demand. Our Wilson Walker has the story of two wine regions and how they're adjusting to a changing industry. You know, if you had the patience, you could almost watch these tendrils grow. Uh, on a day, sunny day like today, this might grow over an inch or more. Tom uh, so Davies is keeping an eye on the Visa Tui so, Winery uh, 2024 vintage here in its earliest formation. And if it's anything like 23, there will be a lot of it. We had a phenomenal vintage in 2023. But what's happening in the wine industry is a story many years in the making, and that includes some years that were not so productive. You know, we you know, had the fires in 17, fires in 20, so we, had, we were short those years, and plus those drought years, we made uh, much less than we normally would. And when the rain finally returned, demand for grapes was still on the rise, and the times in wine country were as good as ever. We went from 2020, it was really one of the toughest years for us, to two years later to the best year we've ever had. So we had a real buildup. And so everyone was clamoring for grapes. It's tough. Uh, it's a really, really, really tough decision to pull out grapevines. These winemakers in Lodi pulling their vines from the ground reflect an industry that has hit a pocket of uncertainty. After decades of steady growth, wine consumption has plateaued or even started to decline by some measures. So supply is up while demand is heading the other direction. And while industry giants in places like Napa might be slightly insulated from this, Davies says yes, the industry is changing. We were blessed with people my age, you know, drinking wine. They were really loyal. The boomers discovered wine. He says younger drinkers may not be shifting towards wine like their parents did, something he says can happen. But we may have to talk to them in a different way. And I think that's incumbent upon our industry to learn how we talk to this new generation. And it's our job. I mean, if, it, if indeed we are having declining consumption, you know, that's up to us, our industry, to do something about that. Drought, rainy years, fire years. Right. We've talked about cycles and right. consumption. Sure, sure. This is all just part of the business. It's just part of the business. You know, this is will be my 45th harvest here at Visa Tui Winery. And I, we've gone through so many cycles over the years. When the 60 minutes story broke, you know, when was that 30 plus years ago? And the, and the French paradox, red wine sales soared like 30, 40% overnight. Uh, sideways came out, Pinot Noir took off and Merlot went down. So everyone pulled Merlot out and everyone planted Pinot Noir. Now we have too much Pinot Noir. So things are always changing and we don't exactly know what future supply is going to look like, right? If it gets too hot or too cold in the next month, they could lose 20% of this year's crop. And something else interesting that Davies says, after a big year like last year, when these vines do a lot of work, they can be a little tired. They just can't produce that many grapes two years in a row. So things might dip a little bit. The one constant is change, and that goes for the wine industry as well. Demand is shifting across the country. According to a report published in the Chronicle, U.S. winemakers sold 360 million cases of wine last year. That's down from 450 million cases three years ago.